What's going on, Spartans? King here, bringing another Zombination episode. Today, we're going to show you how to get some troops, how to evolve them, how to, I'm sorry, upgrade them. So, all that fun stuff, and we're going to do some crazy attacks here, have some fun. Hope you guys are ready for this, and if you guys did not upgrade or evolve, then you will find that out today. But most of you probably figured it out pretty easily. Not too much of rocket science. Pretty simple game. And I love the fact that the clouds have like different shapes in them. I don't know if you saw the octopus before I quit off that screen. But Buenos Aires was where I just attacked. This is actually a guild war, basically. So that's how you work together as a guild to attack. We won the first tier, and you, everyone gets, or anyone that participates gets troops, basically. Second tier, you get better troops. Third tier, you get the best troops you can for that war. So that's pretty cool how that works. You'll be seeing a lot more of that from us as this game gets more stable because right now it is just beta and a lot of people do not get the codes. So I'm super excited for this game to go global mainly because I'll have my whole clan or guild ready to rock and roll and we are going to be very awesome. I'm not even going to lie. We're a pretty active guild and it's pretty fun being in there. But as you can see, look at all these different pads I can place troops on right over here on the right side I'm gonna drop a bunch of spec ops those guys are snipers but they're invisible unless the troop basically unless the zombie basically walks directly on top of them they will not be attacked by zombies so the main pads I want to concentrate are on those crossroad pads there in the center I want to make sure I got plenty of troops down there to hold off and I want to make sure I have snipers in place in the back areas and then I want to make sure I'll actually drop some troops in this pad up here in the top left just because it is a five pad and I do have some troops extra so it's kind of just a good place to hold off troops that's why I dropped those two gunners in those in between the two walls just because they'll actually kill quite a few troops before they get overwhelmed now let's see where else can we drop some troops got my main the main strategy I use is I drop firefighters or lumberjacks down on each pad and then I follow them up with maybe a healer but most likely a gunner so that's because you want to have melee and distance units too. Now another fact, those black and blue walls, those tall ones you see, those cannot be shot over. The wood walls that are shorter, you can shoot over. And you can see my snipers clearing out those zombies that are fast. Those are strong zombies too. Those will hurt you quite a bit. The purple zombies, those big ones, are really high health. Those are like tanks. Those guys are strong, but they're super high health. You need to make sure you get a sniper on them. This is the guy you need to worry about though. That guy's a titan. The guy with the cone on him and the giant plates, he is super strong and nothing can kill him except for the six-shooter girl called Outlaw or Desperado and also snipers. So those guys on those pads are going to get their butts whooped because nothing on that pad is going to hurt them. And I don't think any, no, nothing on the second pad is going to hurt them either. So that's why I'm upgrading my Desperados right now because I'm looking to have those on pads in order to stop Titans. Titans are super bad news. Look at that. Just walk right through my guys. And unfortunately, that's why I just back my troops up because I know it's going to end badly. I want them to have to go through those walls and hopefully kill some of the minor zombies before they actually get up there. Hopefully, with the surge on this patch, she'll be able to revive my firefighters or fire chiefs, actually, the fire chiefs, as they die. But it does not look like she's going to be inclined to do so. Maybe I'll have to move her up. We will see here. Unfortunately, she is very low health. So we did win, though. The round is over because it ran out of time. So we won. Pretty cool. Not bad at all. Let's move on and see if we can find another cool raid. Or actually, you know what? We'll show you how to upgrade and stuff right now. But let's just look at what we get here. As you can see, when you win and beat Buenos Aires, that was me beating one of the Guild Wars. I got Epic Troop and two Rare Troops. That was just the first tier too. So troops get better as you go. And I was only promised to get one Rare Troop and two, or two or I think it was four to eight or two to four random troops and I end up getting an epic and a rare so that's pretty cool I will take that for sure now I could go on and keep fighting but we're not active enough to actually get to 5,000 right now and with work I don't have the time so we will wait until we get this global before we actually get a real guild war push on or we try and get to tier 3 because that's a lot of time I feel like definitely a lot of attacking but the troops are worth it, guys. You get legendary troops, which you can only get from wars. And those things are sick. As you can see, though, right now, I am the leader. And I am at 635 experience, basically. Sharpie's at 405. Tiffany's below that. And that's Tiff Tiff. She's my best friend. 
If you guys didn't know that already, you're obviously not Clash fans. But she's number two in the clan. And you can see this is our clan right now. We have quite a few people in it. And Angels and Devils, if you want to join, feel free. We have got some higher level players since I... Actually, since yesterday. So that's pretty crazy. And we are looking forward to continue growing. Nick and Knight's actually going to be joining this guild. And I'm going to be joining his This Means War one. So we're going to trade off. I'm, we each have our own guild and like alliance and everything in each thing. So we're going to combine in This Means War. Since he's a better This Means War player or a, he plays it more, I'm going to join his alliance and he is going to join my guild for Zombination because I'm specializing on it. Now, as you can see, I have upgraded these guys and I can evolve them by adding two Lumberjacks together. And this is what happens to the health, the um, attack, and everything else on the Lumberjack. It gets quite a bit stronger. Usually adds another person to the pad. So instead of being able to have like two or three guys that you can drop, you'll have four or three. That's pretty cool. Gotta love that. I've definitely evolved a lot of guys now. As you can see, a lot of guys are... You gotta evolve guys at level 10. That's the only way to keep leveling them up. And they get that special ability there on the right called rank 1. I'd love to do a scatter shot right now, but I only have one that's not injured. So unfortunately, I gotta wait till my level 10 is uninjured and then I can do it. I'll do a next video probably or I'll just do it when I'm playing. Here's how you upgrade though. Choose a bunch of low level troops you want to consume. Spend a few cans and boom, voila. Now you got a stronger troop. Pretty simple to evolve. You need boxes. I'll explain how that works later though guys. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Stay tuned for more and I'll have a Clash video soon for you. Have a great day guys. Peace.